Mortgage rates are at 20 year highs right now, stressing home affordability. So is it better to wait to buy until rates come down when it will be cheaper? Not necessarily. I'm Robert Purnell, real estate advisor in Silicon Valley. And this is Real Estate in 60 Seconds. Waiting for interest rates to drop before buying a home could actually cost you money. Home prices in Silicon Valley have continued to slowly climb despite the high rates. And when rates do fall, it is almost guaranteed that prices are going to go up. The increased price will cost you more than any rate-based payment savings. Let's take a look at an example. A house today at $2 million, 25% down and a 7% interest rate, has a payment of $99.80 a month. In 18 to 24 months, let's say the rates are down to 5.5%, but the price of the home is now $2.2 million. 25% down, the payment's $93.69, which is a savings of $611. So you're saving money, right? No. You lost $200,000 in appreciation, and that $611 your savings will take 27 years to make up the difference. Now, if you bought at $2 million today in a 7% rate and refinanced when the rate dropped, you would be saving $1,463 a month, and you'd have $200,000 more in equity. Now, waiting might be right for you, for your own personal reasons. But financially, the only way waiting makes sense is if you believe that both interest rates and prices will drop at the same time. It's possible, but historically, not a good bet to take. And that's Real Estate in 60 Seconds. Follow me for more and reach out directly if you have any real estate-related questions. I have answers. See you next time.